Hello friends, I have a square paper with me today. Using this with origami, we will make a paper toy. Richie, are you ready with your paper? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, we have to join the opposite corners of the paper like this. Join the corners and fold the paper. When you fold the paper, make sure there is a good crease. So, press well on the fold. Now, open the paper. We have to join now these two opposite corners like this. Now if you open this and place it like this, this looks like somewhat like a mountain, isn't it? Yes ma'am. Allow it to don't press from anywhere. Allow it to stay like this. Okay. In the language of origami, this is called a mountain fold. Oh. Okay. Now, we just combined the corners. Now, we are going to join the edges. Okay. So, let us join two edges which are in the front and again press the paper properly ok open it shift it like this and the remaining two edges let's join them also open the paper earlier there was a mountain here now what do you see? A valley? Yeah, valley. So, this is called a valley fold in the language of origami. Now, if you see, this paper is automatically going to come together and form a smaller square. So, just press it well. Now, this it looks something like this. This is called a bird fold. Whenever you want to make a bird, you have to create this kind of arrangement of a paper. Okay. But today we will not make a bird. We will make something else. What? What we will make? Uh, we will make a monkey from Mon this. Monkey? Oh. All right. So, keep the paper on the ground this open flap bring it here to this corner and fold it we have to make many folds monkey monkey is what we are going to create right yeah so turn this paper like this and this open end bring it to the opposite corner and make a fold there. Have you got this kind of an arrangement? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's correct. So, let's make a monkey. How to? This closed flap here, say about 2 inches, you can Mm, you can almost take a distance of one and a half inch and turn it like this. Okay. Now this paper is little thick. So we have to use a scissor to cut this portion off like this. Can you see? Yes ma'am.
can you do the same with your paper yes ma'am yes like this make sure both the flaps are intact yes done yes ma'am yes your monkey is ready monkey it doesn't look like monkey oh no you don't believe let me try and see if you believe it now see these are eyes of the monkey this is the face here is monkey's head these are the ears and this is a mouth that goes hoop hoop see a monkey is ready isn't it it is monkey you still don't believe i think ruchi is not going to believe till this monkey does show her something something that a monkey trick that monkey always do i think the monkey has to climb up on a tree and jump off from there then you will believe right yes okay so let us make a tree here for the monkey to climb up you also make a tree and the face of a monkey very nice monkey now make a tree now watch how the monkey goes up the tree you can wait for a while see me doing it later on you may right right here see there are two grooves on both sides of the monkey and we are going to fix them on each of this legs of the paper we have made i am going to pull these two legs together and actually brush them against each other when we brush two things what happens frictional force there is allowed. a friction yes and now let's see what this friction does to the monkey oh it is going up is it has it reached the top yeah okay see the monkey has reached the top and if you continue doing this friction it will come out and jump off from the tree oh it jumped off so did you like it yeah do you believe now yeah. that this is a monkey yes it is a monkey is there any question you have in your mind mom it goes up why doesn't it come down oh see here what are we doing we are bringing these two legs together and brushing them against each other so you know there is force of friction generated yes, here when we push it here monkey goes up from the other end when we push this down monkey goes up from the opposite end if there is no friction see can you see it just slips down yes ma'am now this happens while we walk also yeah right, right. when we step on the floor we push the floor and floor pushes us ahead yes ma'am okay so is the principle of friction on which this toy as well as our walking happens yes ma'am one leg in one groove another in another bring them close and just brush them against each other 
Will you do yours now? Yes, ma'am. I would like to try this. Please do. Correct. Yes. Wow, it's interesting. 